Kamala's campaign, the uh, her campaign account on Twitter, Kamala HQ, which is like the most lying account on yeah, Twitter right bad. now. Mm -hmm. They tried to say that the McDonald's um, thing, the uh, Trump working at McDonald's for the day this weekend was a fail. Oh and they God. used a total of five TikTok comments to prove this, they said Trump's staged photo op at McDonald's is not going over well on TikTok. And then this was their evidence. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I mean, they could, they keep, keep pretending. I know. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So then the, um, Trump's campaign team on Twitter responded and it was so perfect. They said, if by not going over well, you mean 90 million views on the Team Trump TikTok page and 6 million likes on one video, seethe harder, nerds. Yeah, it's so true. It's like sign wars. That's what this is. <laughs> you know, when you see small towns having sign wars, that's yes. what we're seeing just in tw on Twitter. I mean, I just, I love this so much. And so great. They're losing. I mean, the, definitely, th this is just ridiculous to try to pretend that this wasn't a good thing for Trump. Right. I mean, just mm -hmm. stop. Like, what are yeah. you even doing? Yeah. But the New York Times keeps trying, man. They keep trying. They are still coping and seething about this story. And so their most recent is Trump took a turn at the fryer. McDonald's workers have thoughts. Oh, and my God. There's a quote from the article that said he just doesn't seem to know how to do it. After Donald Trump served fast food during a campaign stop, several actual McDonald's workers who examined the video of his performance earned mixed reviews. I mean, this yeah. is a real article. Well, it was they got a fry panel, you guys. They <laughs> they collected McDonald's employees and they got themselves instead of a pecker panel, they got themselves a fry panel. This is what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you like to be on a fry panel? This is <laughs> I hate these people. I, I hate know. them. Read this. This is from the article. When it was time to bag the order, he asked a woman at the drive-thru what they did when a customer wanted more salt. I love salt, he said. I do too. I actually really love salt. I don't know about you guys. As he shook some onto golden potatoes. Then, after spilling some, he paused to throw some over his shoulder in a nod to superstition, a seconds-long gesture that would have most likely been unappreciated by efficiency-loving managers had Mr. Trump been any other employee. This is a real article. I can't. I just cannot. What is happening? People. It's a <laughs> deal. This is the dumbest yeah, okay. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And then Brian Stelter has the absolute audacity to post on Twitter that the right is making Trump's McDonald's photo op into a three day story by saying liberals are losing their minds over it. Oh my God. Well, I mean, it makes sense. He's doing that. He should be on the panel since he is an actual potato. <laughs> he should totally be on the panel. The potato, the potato <laughs> panel. Oh my God. I, I just, what? The, I, it's so stupid. This is the dumbest shit ever. Just stop <laughs> it. Um, and then just right on time, as you might expect, the day after this photo op from Trump. Oh my God. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren I, and Casey uh, and, and it's, um, the Oregon Senator, Ron Wyden, wrote to President and Chief uh, and CEO of McDonald's pushing for uh, more, what is it? It's so little more information on their I, pricing. <laughs> They're accusing McDonald's now of being one of the price gougers. Can you even with this? And that's yeah, not and, coincidental at all. Yeah. The and they, they talk about how, you know, people can't like people can't put food on their table. Like McDonald's provides food for people to put on their do you guys, okay, do you guys rely on McDonald's to put food on your table? <laughs> like, it's not McDonald's that puts food on my table in my household. Like, it's a once in a while thing, right? Right. So the way, they obviously did this because Trump went there. I mean, everybody knows what they're doing here. Trump went mm -hmm. there, had a photo op, and then they're like, let's go after McDonald's because he did it. He went there and he like benefited from McDonald's. So let's go get him, which is exactly what they're doing here. But if she wants to go after somebody, she should go after like Biden and Harris because what is it? Potatoes have gone up, what, 40 percent since they've been in office? Potatoes have. God. So maybe they should. Everything is like an economic ecosystem. You know, they don't understand that. She doesn't understand that because well, they don't go grocery shopping. No, she doesn't go grocery shopping. She doesn't. 
she doesn't experience real life. We pay all of her bills. She's only had one beer that we know <laughs> of. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't live real life, you know? Yeah. These this people is are, it's ridiculous. All well, ridiculous. and the timing is so ridiculous. The it timing is. of this news story, too, that also came out about an E. coli outbreak specifically linked to McDonald's. This mm -hmm. also came out just yesterday from the right. CDC. They're, they're saying almost 50 people from 10 states have become severely ill specifically due to the quarter pounder from McDonald's. Right. And so... I, listen, maybe it's true. Maybe there's something going on with the quarter pounders. I don't know. But it just feels very, very sus. weird. A little <laughs> very sus, sus. As yes. the kids would say. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. come on. <clears throat> yep. Come it's on. weird. Yep. It mm -hmm. is weird. Um, You guys, I don't know if you noticed. You probably didn't because, like, why would you pay attention to what we're wearing? <laughs> But we are wearing very special clothing today okay. from a brand new sponsor. Yeah, this is like I'm. Oh, I'm, I'm also we wearing the matching leggings. Mine says "Save Women's Sports." It says "Save Women's Sports." Yeah, and I we talk about saving women's sports all, all the, the time. time. All the time. And we actually talked um, about it a lot to, to Jennifer Say, who used to be the CMO at Levi's. You probably remember her story. And if you haven't, if you don't know her story, she spoke out about the COVID lockdowns, all the vaccine mandates. She was like very outspoken about that during her tenure at Levi's. And then she basically got forced out. And we had a big, long conversation with her about that on our podcast. You should check that out. You can just look up her name and find, find that episode on YouTube. But then um, more recently, she has started this new clothing company, an athletic wear company uh, called XXXY Athletics, as you can imagine why, right? Oh, Ellen, Ellen said she was on Gutfeld last night. That's awesome. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you probably, you know, she's obviously, she, she's a former gymnast, hugely um, business mm -hmm. savvy when it comes to branding. And she thought, you know what? It's not enough to just say that men should stay out of women's sports. We need to, to show our support. And she decided, I'm going to start my own clothing company. And that's what it's going to be focused on. And yeah. so the messaging behind this brand perfectly aligns with our values. And why would yep. you not want to support a brand that does exactly that? So not only is the, the branding important and the message important, but the clothes are kind of fabulous. They're really you awesome. Guys. Yeah. Cause I mean, if you guys have daughters or granddaughters that shop at like the Lulu's and stuff like that, this stuff is, is awesome. It's like this, this yeah. is like, stop doing that shop here instead. You know what yes. I mean? Support brands that support what we believe in. They are, of course, offering a discount for our audience and you can check it out. I know it's xx xyathletics.com is sort of a mouthful to remember, but you can also get there by just going to the truthfits.com. And when you use code chicks20, you get 20% off of your first purchase. That is a really good deal considering the quality of this line. So again, it's the truthfits.com or xx-xyathletics.com. Just make sure to use code chicks20 to get that 20% off. Um, remember how we made fun of like Newsweek and New York? Well, we've been making fun of all the mainstream media outlets mm -hmm. all this week about their McDonald's coverage. And then like there was this meme that was so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those AI generated Trump <laughs> riding a cat. They'll meme. tell you it's not real. They're going to tell you it's not real, you guys. And you know that there will be like a community note yeah. on this that says this image is AI. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? That cat doesn't wear a hat like that? <laughs> Trump doesn't ride cats. What? What? We're going to need some clarification on that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>